a very different place, a fort, a town maybe. Few hobbits have seen this place, and as you make your four steps towards uh, forward among the stones, stories of kings and armored cladded warriors fill your head. Ah, ching, ching, ching. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> just as you and the group, uh, just as Bilbo and the group are about to explore the heather, heather covered ruins, a rumbling growl seems to rise from the ground itself. It's a bellowing shout bearing some resemblance to human speech, echoing among the ancient stones. You then hear a high, panicked voice call out nearby. Shoo, you old troll, go away, go! Breaking through the ticket of brambles, you see none other than Myrtle Mudfoot, who has scrambled up a ruined wall and is swinging a big, heavy club at a massive creature that looks like a grotesque imitation of a larger man. It's a stone troll. Oh, troll. Troll. I will send the picture to the group. Yay, monsters. But you said light. <clears throat> Daylight's coming now, isn't it? Not here yeah, yet. It's, it's not here no, yet. It's on its way. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah, Lee knows his, okay. his lore. <laughs> I remember lore. what Bilbo did. Did. Between the two of them leaning wearily against the wall is a cloaked stranger, oh, a hood good. thrown back to reveal a rugged face of a man with grey eyes, clutching a large bleeding gash across his shoulder that has all but incapacitated him as he desperately tries to keep the monster from the child. The troll is clearly angry and does not seem to have noticed you or your companions. Myrtle, on the other hand, sees you and immediately cries out for help. Daddy! The troll is just kind of... Oh, give me her. Come here, you. Oh. <laughs> and I, I, is... I shout out, Oi, ugly! Over here! I'm right oh. here, Maureen. It's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I meant Bilbo... the other ugly, taller one. Bilbo I'm tells... Right uh, here. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what was the dark called again? Mort, was it? Uh, Mort Mudfoot. Yeah, so Bilbo Mort, tells yeah. Mort to stand back and he pulls Sting from underneath his cloak. <gasps> I'm impressed by Sting, you see, oh. because I'm a very Give big me fan. Me. Initiative, please. Initiative. Initiative. Yeah, let's get this party started. <laughs> plus two, plus two, come on, dice. Oh, geez, that's initiative. another nat 20. Why am I wasting them on initiative? 22. Where's, where's, where's initiative? Where's there? Uh, right it's... beside armor class, the very top. I, know what, I haven't even got mine written down on this because I haven't got my proper sheet. What did you get, Mark? I, uh, I, I got rolled a tw not 20 and I got plus two to initiative. It's usually your deck, so whatever your deck is, is your initiative. Dex. Oh, plus three then. Uh, two, Four, five, six, seven. <laughs> oh, I'm die. Plus one. Okay. Gonna... Hold your horses. Oh, 19 Bill plus one. Seven. 20. Yeah. And Lufang. 20. Dirty 20. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So Morin goes first. What do you want to do? Um, well, I, I, I want to get its attention. So what better way than to go over and stand in its way? So uh, can I move up to it? Yeah. What, what distance can you travel? I can travel... Uh, I'm very fast on short distances. Uh, twenty speed twenty five. <laughs> yeah, twenty five foot. So, yeah, you, he's. I say he's around forty foot away, so you can travel halfway up to him. Halfway up, right? And he turns because so, he, he heard you shouting at him. So, okay. Well, then I'm going to take. I can do a bonus action. I, I've, I've, I'm a dwarf, and actually, this is where it comes into it. Normally, you just would before think we start. Damage resistance isn't that half? Like it, if, yeah, if you, it's half if you damage whatever. him, you have, it, isn't it? Yeah. it? It usually says what, what monsters like. Um, no, I know what he's he's resistant yeah. to. It's just that if you damage him, it halves because he's resistant to. Yeah, resistant. Yeah, this fucker is resistant to fucking everything. <laughs> well, thanks for telling me that while I do this stupid thing. But, um, back to me. Normally, 
if someone wasn't a dwarf with my small stature, they wouldn't be able to make it up to attack him. But this is where the quote comes in. In the mechanics, it's surge of vigor. One of the things it does is you can use a bonus action to either make an attack, dash, disengage, or dodge action. And there's another thing, but I'm not going to do it. I am going to use my bonus action because I believe I should be... I don't know if they'll survive another hit from the... I'm not sure I'll survive another hit uh, or the first one. But I'm going to do a dash action to run up because you said I was halfway there to get right in front of him and then use my main at the, uh, uh, action to hack at his knee. Yep. So <clears throat> roll. Now I'm really scared because it's, it's, <laughs> it's the first combat. Roll. You know me. Right, come on, roll. we're a dwarf. Wow. The second roll. combat, the Anything first one, you literally like... eviscerated a fucking bar. <laughs> oh, I rolled on a one. <laughs> <laughs> It rolled off it. What was the one? It, it, yeah, it did. It rolled. It, it was a 13. It rolled Wait, on a one. Are we went and we went more. Did we not get? Not on fights. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't... Unless, is there is there flanking in this? And is there like advantage for flanking? I don't know. Well, I know Gil has on... something because he's a hobby. He has a, a cunning action, doesn't he? If he's I beside imagine. you when you're attacking, he can I... get a, a stealth attack. Which he is. No, but he's not because he's 20. I'm, I'm laughing, he's yo. beside me oh. in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Can Can I, what did you roll I, a one? I rolled an actual one, but it, I don't know if... Because I'm flanking. I don't know if that's in Lord of the Rings. If I'm well, flanking with someone that's with me, it's if the DM does it, it's advantage or or not. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll give you advantage, go on. Yay! Because I'm... Because otherwise you're dead. <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do, uh, do we have second advantage? No, no. Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> we do the match here. I have a plus. That's something with second. That breakfast. is a ten on the button. I rolled a five. No. Ah. Yeah. You swing <laughs> at his knee, and it just goes cling off. Well, I am going to get its attention by saying, "Turn around and fight me, you smelly troll." <laughs> uh, give me more, and I'm right here. Give me an intimidation true. roll, then. Oh, sweet! I'll give you. I'll give you that. Just <laughs> we don't want you to die. Oh, that's <laughs> run up. Oh, sad that I didn't miss the die. Just... I just shout to them. Um, for oh, it, 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 it got cocked. I rerolled. It was a nine. I got no plus to it. Oh, the troll just goes, oh, stupid little <laughs> halfling. Hey. So. <sighs> Next it is <laughs> Liu Fang. Okay, um, so I'm thinking about making use of my bow to keep the distance for now because it's so big. Um, <laughs> it's just so, so big. Do you know? It's so big. Just note a sword. No, did you swing a sword or an axe? On. He swung an axe. He swung an axe. Yeah. I was going to say an axe, axe bounced off his knee. Like boing. Yeah, but so. that's, it all depends on the rolls, Lee. <laughs> I, I didn't okay. even hit him. I swung at the air. <laughs> yeah, he accidentally dodged. Yeah, okay, he so I will attack him with Have me. Have you bow. any bonus actions or anything? Me? Uh, I don't even know. I have Elven skill proficiency bonus, um, if not miserable. Don't know what it's a proficiency bonus. <laughs> yeah, is. Just, yeah, just a, just a proficiency bonus. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's proficiency. And then I've got advantage on attack abilities and saving throws. So, no. So I've got advantage, but I'd have advantage anyway, wouldn't I? Because I'm attacking. No, that's right. Really so. Well, because he's so stupid, for the first round, I'll give you his advantage because. He can only kind of focus on one person at a time. Okay, well then I will aim. At Just because I'm a nice his, guy, you know. I'll <laughs> aim at his eyes. Thanks, Mr. DM. <laughs> You're gonna aim at his eye. Yeah. Right. So roll. Um, Great. Roll well. <laughs> be dex, would it? Dex for arrows. Dex. It? Yeah. Dex plus one. Let's have a look. He might be Not able to use plus. his um. Proficiency bonus. I'm not too sure, but he might. 
Well, let's have a look what proficiency bonuses have got, actually, quickly. Because they haven't got it in front of me on paper at the minute. Yeah, if you're um, proficient with oh, yeah, bows. I've, I've got, bows two. I've got through, yeah, proficient with bows, yeah. So you would be your dex and then your plus and your proficiency. You add them together and then whatever you get. Four. So four yeah. plus okay. whatever you got in D20. Okay, well, I got 17, so that's what, 21? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So the arrow flies through and goes thunk into his eye. Nice. Roll oh. for damage. What damage is it? Damage with the bow. Uh, I haven't got it written down. Do you have that anywhere yourself? Because I haven't got me up to date character sheets, have I? One sec. Bow. I written my bow down. Yes. Whoever has a it's bow. It's D D six with arrows. D6. And that's just different types of arrows. It's D six, which is weird. Who's D six in deck? Me or you? You. For damage, you've already is. hit me. And you add, you add. I think you add your 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 dex bonus to it, but not your proficiency bonus. Or maybe I'm wrong. I, maybe you do. Oh, plus two, well, so be, whatever I'm you roll, plus two. Oh, six then. So you hit him for six. Yeah. yeah. That's grand. So he's like, you he just goes dunk into his eye. Goes. Do so we have an idea how much that hurts him as in terms of what his health point should be at? Tis but a scratch. <laughs> oh, he's a stone you. troll. He's a big fucking unit, like. So next is Bilbo. So El Bilbo has a magical weapon. Oh, he's where Bilbo dies. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Does he have any? Don't say the D word. Jesus. Sorry, he's where Bilbo faints. Declan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't say the D word. <laughs> So Bilbo runs more towards Myrtle and that was my plan. <laughs> the stranger. But he, he's close. He, he runs his full 25 foot. So he kind of goes around the side. That's all he can really do. So next is the troll. Excellent. So who's right beside me? Uh, I don't think any of you us just, are. <laughs> you just ran. You just ran twenty-five yards. No, uh, I, I don't. Wanna, I don't oh, want to no, brag yeah, about no. how f- quickly I can get to places. So, but yeah, I don't so think the anyone... troll looks down at Morin. And th- there's an arrow sticking out of his eye. He goes, Ooh. so he's going <laughs> to try his slam action, which is a melee weapon attack plus five to hit. Reaches five foot to the target. So uh, I rolled a tree. <laughs> nah. First, Good. for a second, I thought you said you hit me with a tree. Um, no. <laughs> I so rolled a tree. He looks down on Morin and he, his big hand, and he goes to slam it down on Morin, but because of the arrow sticking in his eye, his depth perception is a bit messed up. <laughs> so he slams it and hits his own toe. <laughs> well, next it was weird shooting him in the eye then. Who's laughing now, eh? <sighs> Funny little dwarf. So. <laughs> yeah, dwarf. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for the other eye. You're gonna try my bow. You're gonna try for the other eye with my bow. I'm gonna yeah. try for the other eye with my bow and arrow. All right. I don't have any proficiency in it, so it's not going to work. It's worth a go. You never know. Give it a shot. You want to roll the way. Are you going to move first, or are you just staying at the back? Um, Yeah, I'm going to stay at the back, because, well, um, can I move as an action and do my thing, yeah? You move first, yeah? Yeah, okay. Or you can move at the end. Either way, it doesn't really matter. And then, because I'm 25, so I don't have to move 25. Do I can move no, any you can amount? move as any amount you want, up to 25 foot. So his hit was three meters, wasn't it? In front of him. All right, so that, yeah. That well, he's sense. 40 foot away from you, let's say. It's just that Morin could do the double move. <laughs> That's why you got to right up to him. So you want to move oh. outside of his reach, don't you? Yeah, so. I'll just move a, li- I'll move a little bit forward, just outside of, just outside of his reach. Yeah, that's what I think. 
All right, and then I then I I'll I'll aim for the eye. Give me a yep. bit of a better shot. So, so, so you're um, near so Bilbo, or are you? Yeah, near near Bilbo. Yeah, no problem. I assume I assume Bilbo's gone. Oh, Bilbo only moved twenty-five, side. so he's moved to the side to over towards where Myrtle and the big the stranger. And I is, assume so. I assume we oh, well, like we we stood with, with the troll between us and Myrtle. So, yeah, like so Bilbo tried to go towards them. Yeah, he's, so be, well, the he's, troll moved towards Morin, so yeah. Use your so I, the eye that's blind <laughs> is, is on that side. So I'm going for the right. So yeah, I'll go with uh, Bilbo. Do I have to roll for that? Or is that just what I can do? No, you you moved. It's grand. Just roll okay. for your shot. Shoot your shot. D, that is D, that is six. Uh, did I, uh... No, 20. A 20? Just... Okay, so... I... Yeah, you D6. You roll a 20 and then with plus your dex because you're shooting. Okay. With your dex, whatever bonus it is. Okay, so it was 13. Yeah. And dexterity is plus three, 16. Yeah, so you shoot, you're shooting at the other eye. <laughs> yeah, so Gil runs and just goes, thunk, and it flies into his other eye. He goes, Aah! so roll for, <laughs> roll for damage. So what was thing. I actually feel sorry for it. <laughs> <laughs> So this this is the six that the six one is now. Yeah. The D six is it? Okay. Plus your proficiency on your decks, so it'll be plus two. Okay. Is it? Yeah. So five. So another five points. Hmm. Ten is he? Minus. Yeah. That's great. So he gets hit in the other eye. So now I'm going to have to be disadvantaged with him now because he can't fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> now it's back to Morin. Right. Well, um, I'm going it's to. It's like, third just... eye. It's third eye. Oh, really? No. Now there's some things <laughs> you don't do in battle. <laughs> ah, but what the hell? <laughs> I'll swing for the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> Chop his knackers off. <laughs> well, yeah. So you said we had advantage on this. No, he has disadvantage now because okay, he can't cool. see. So um... swing, swing away, Martin. <laughs> swing away. Oh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, swing away. I see eleven. I rolled one better. Oh, that's another. It's another miss. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> <laughs> but... So Martin swings again for the knackers, but. The troll kind of stumbles back because he can't see and he just goes for air. You hear me mumble, no, I'll take the first watch off for the love of <laughs> <laughs> So we're back towards Liu Fang. Um, well, he's got no eyes. So <laughs> I think <laughs> no it, eyes. do we need to do we do we need to try and get the girl to safety, do we think? Is it worth do we, we're not gonna kill it, are we realistically? So is it worth me trying to help get um the girl whose name escapes me Myrtle. to safety? Myrtle. Right. I'm just gonna say if you're danger. if you're thinking of being nice to this troll, we're now left a, a troll in the open air. As the sun's about to come up with no eyes, it's gonna die either way. And it's no. probably gonna take a lot of pe- pe- a lot of things with it. That's yeah, what I'm I thinking. I'm thinking rather than <laughs> we're not gonna be able to kill it. Arrows aren't gonna kill it. So I'm just warming up, lads. Just don't worry, I'll get the next one. <laughs> Morin's flexing the shoulders. <laughs> I feel I feel a good hit now coming on. Darren, can you check my damage Who's on my Aaron? sword? <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, oh, in, oh, oh, in our government yeah, names. The bow, the bow should be D6 plus 2. I don't know. Because you see, there's a lot of stuff taken out of the, the Lord of the Rings book that should be in there. Yeah. Hold on, I have... Sword. I need... Uh, on, sword, damage, you get your damage. strength. But your, One, your bow... D8 you get plus strength. I've got it. Yeah. I've got it. And if you're proficient with the weapon, you'll get your proficiency bonus, but you probably might. You might not proficient with a sword. Oh, oh yeah, I am proficient with a sword, yeah. So, <laughs> so I think that, you, I think you do get it. 
Um, so okay. He's, 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 a, he's allergic to your bullshit that you just. Gave <laughs> <up there. laughs> I'm making it up as I go along. I don't even know. No, I don't. Even no, be Craig. Oh, I'm proficient with this as well. Oh, no, okay. it's all there. Uh, check, check the check the sheet. Sure. Um, Speaking of which, okay. it... go on, go so on. I will, I will move in sword range, but out of his range. So he's got a range of three, hasn't he? Uh, five. Oh, well, so am I. Damn. Oh, Joe, you know I'll go right on five. He's got no eyes. What can he do? Can't so see I'll move you. five away I from I so him. hope he fucking gets you. <laughs> <laughs> what can he <you> do? <laughs> Bang! <laughs> so, yeah, I'll move Take in and attack him with my sword. Yeah, so roll... Strength. What am I rolling for? Roll to hit him. So roll d20. D20. Plus your strength proficiency bonus. Okay. So sword proficiency. So that's. So what's your strength? Strength plus nothing. So and then your proficiency is a plus two there, another? Plus two, yeah. Yeah, so whatever your roll. Oh, plus. Okay, well then it's eight plus two, ten. Yeah, so yes. Strike at him, and it just clanks off his hard hide. And he goes, oh, it tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Told you to should have saved the girl. Damn. Okay. Next Boy, Mr. Bilbo. So Bilbo gets closer. And because he's beside Morin at this stage, he will get advantage because he has that cunning... Little stealthy action. He has no, it as well as skill. Huh? He has it as well as skill, does he? Yeah, well, all hobbits do. Oh, sweet. Hobbit sense. They're, they're tricksy hobbits. Tricksy <laughs> hobbits. So he's going to roll for Sting as well. And Sting is a magical weapon, so there'll be no <laughs> resistance anyway. <laughs> it's Sting! A six, so no. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, he misses as well. Oh, <laughs> Bilbo oh, swipes the... something in the air. Bilbo swipes with Sting and totally misses. Oh, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't fought in a long, long time. <laughs> so next is the troll. So who is oh, beside him? God. There's three of us. Three of them. There, three of us. Yeah. I'll be the loudest and I'll start banging my shield. Oh, saying, Come on, roll. you missed. I'll roll a three-sided dice and I'll see who does it. I'll stand perfectly still and silent. <laughs> is, is there any way I can get his attention so he goes for me? Why are you uh, suicidal? Not suicidal, just doing what I do best, protect my friends. Let him hit the NPC, they can't die. <laughs> All right. He's going <laughs> to go for Gil. Oh, not Gil. Morin. I'm saying I'm not even there. <laughs> Gil's an NPC. <laughs> So, six, so nine. Who's he going for? Sorry, Bilbo. Morin. Morin. Nine. Morin. AC nine. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, he did, like he he. Yeah, I I I, I block my block with my shield. No, he, he doesn't hit me. Thankfully. So he's kind of sniffing around. He just goes, and he smacks your shield, and he goes, cling. Uh, vibrates around. He's like, "Oh my ears!" and his ears start bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> now he's blind and he deaf as well. <laughs> the only, the only hit Martin's done was by being hit himself. <laughs> Wait, yeah. yeah what, next time we hit, I'm getting a bunch of nails, and I'm going to put them in my shield. So next <laughs> is Gil. Um, so it's all after. So metal's up a shelf or something. She's up on a little ledge. She clambered up there, and the stranger is kind of incapacitated because he has a big gash on his shoulder. So he's kind of still protecting her, but he he's in a jock, <laughs> pretty much. Is she out of you. reach? Yeah, well, the the troll is totally focused on you. Put it this way, you can't see her anyway now. Oh, just chip. Should I, should I just go and get her? Take her to safety. Yeah, she's, she's, she's safe. She's safe. She's safe as houses at the moment. <laughs> no. 
So I'll just, um, Do you not want Trout just, Slayer I'll, to I'll, be I'll, put into your list of titles now? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, sw- I'll, I've only got a short sword, so I have to get right up in there. Get right up in it. <laughs> I'm aiming for his, I'm aiming for his guts. All right, so roll. Just above his, just above his. Push your strength. <laughs> Guys, just to let you know, I, I don't know if I just checked. You get your which with uh, ranged weapons, you do get your dex to your damage as well. Okay, uh, I, I wasn't too yeah. sure on that, but so I'm right. Google okay. is our friend. We did it right. So I moved, so okay. I'm moving towards him. Okay, yeah, and then I roll my d24 plus proficiency. No, no, plus no, you're uh, not strength, proficient. is it? So I'd nothing. Uh, Eleven. No, you miss as well. Oh, but just as you swipe, and it yeah. looks like you're gonna miss. The sun comes up over uh. the, the the forest, and because he's blind, the troll doesn't see this. But you can kind of feel the heat on him, and then just as he's about to turn to run. He just petrifies into a big stone statue. Ha ha! Gil, the well troll done. slayer, strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Gil saves the day. <laughs> so. You just beat the troll. troll. <laughs> Yay! We outlasted the troll. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Missed the troll. Oh, God damn I think- it. Because he's Might be the worst fight in history. <laughs> <laughs> and the really sad part is I can't even get my arrow back because it's turned to stone. <laughs> I, I have a chisel. <laughs> Hang on. And I take out a chisel. <laughs> I climb up on the troll. Give me a uh, strength check. And acrobatic. <laughs> and... I'll, do, I'll, I'll do this. And I'll chisel around the arrow so I don't right. break it. Give me ac- ac- acrobatics then. Okay, awesome. Uh, <laughs> before I say that, acrobatics. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, is he very tall? How big is a troll? A uh, troll are, I say, a good. Well, well you've seen the Hobbit film there. The Hobbits are up to probably their knees and dwarfs as well. So they're huge. So actually, let me just slightly re- recap on that. <laughs> no, just, just to be all, not, not too cocky. Do I, I just wanted to fall and like yeah, take my rope, make a, yeah, a lasso out of so it, much. throw it on the throw it on the head, climb up the rope, and then anyone you... helping you? I'm, I'm hoping the rope just... will give me advantage <laughs> <laughs> or something to the roll. Uh, I'll give you advantage on that one. Well, I will say, can someone give me a little bit of a boost? I'll, I'll get you your arrow boost. back for you. I'll yeah. give you advantage because it was inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I rolled a 19 on the <laughs> but uh, let's I'll, see if I'll I get give you as much of a hand. I'll help you as much as you helped me out the tree, put it that way. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, so 19 plus 2 is 21. Yeah, that's grand. So, yeah, how do you climb up? I start hammering and chiseling around the arrows so I, I can, like, break up the stone as opposed to the actual arrow itself, just so I can hit something. <laughs> because you, you're you have like craft, whatever. Smitting tools, but uh. yeah, but you're a craft smith or something. Like, that's your thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I just wrote smitting tools. Yeah, so you chisel it around and you pull the two stone arrows out. And because they're stone arrows, I'll give you a plus one on the damage for them. Nice. Oh, so you give them one to me and one to Lee. Yeah, uh, one to, yeah. to Gil. Yeah, so when you yeah. fire this yeah. arrow, whatever damage you do, it's plus one. One for each of you, my good friends. I'll just write it down somewhere that it's just one stone arrow each. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, I've shot ten arrows and they're all stone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just so I know, the visual, now, the visual we just saw was the creature we were just fighting. Morin went up and Hacked away in face. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. You know this poor creature that is blinded and tried to chop his knackers <laughs> off. <laughs> and deafened. Chip, chip away in his face. Fault. 
I, I did it in such a way you, that you can see the little circles of the eyes on the arrows. <laughs> <laughs> like little stone eyeballs on the end of the arrows. <laughs> right, so you climb back down and you look over and you see Bilbo, Mort and the stranger helping Myrtle off the wall. And she runs and hugs her father. And the stranger throws back his hood with one arm clutching his shoulder. And the clock Strider. Wandered. Nearly. <laughs> he <laughs> throws his, his cloak. <laughs> he throws his cloak back. <laughs> and his long grey brown hair with bright steely eyes. He smiles through the pain of the wound he suffered at the claws of the troll. It's not often that I find myself needing protection less often than it should come from form as such a mixed group of people. My name is Halbarad and I'm a ranger, although that title does not tell you much. Suffice it to know that I, like yourselves, were searching for young Myrtle here for two reasons. First, for the fear she might find true danger, and second, because she took something I was meant to guard. I certainly didn't expect a burglar like Myrtle, and she fooled me. He kind of rubs our head with his non-bleeding hand. <laughs> Good. Burglar hobbit? <laughs> All hobbits seem to be fucking burglars in this game. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, what Myrtle took from King's Ward is indeed a rare relic. A token from an ancient past best forgotten. It was hidden in plain sight and has remained safe for a long time until today. But now I think I've found someone worthy of its safe safekeeping. I think that if you have it, Master Baggins, uh, it's in better hands than it is mine. Um, he chuckles to himself and hands the, the club to Bilbo, who can't believe his luck. He goes, now, if you would be so kind to see the Mudfoots home, I'm certain they have a fine meal waiting for them. I have wounds to tend to, and I must travel back south to seek some advice from my father. He will want to know what's happened here and some other strange things I have encountered in the past while. Um, well, it, since we've all been traveling through the night, before you go, maybe we could sit down and, you know, do a little small campfire and have some breakfast and maybe you could tell us some of those things you know while you hit rest and heal. At least before we move on, we might get something in our stomachs and rest. Get some energy back. I'm sorry, Master Dwarf, but I have no time for that. I have to go down and tell my father. But if have you seen some strange stuff yourselves? Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. believe it. <laughs> and, and then some. And got there was right some here. kids on a rock. <laughs> they fell. It was, it was horrendous. Uh, I, well, recently missed red eyes and a bad sleep. But uh, it could be an omen of things to come. Do you know anything about the, if you don't mind me asking before you go, about the broken boars and hills of scary? What actually is going on there? No, I don't know anything about that. Shame. Mr. Bilbo, can you show him the, the sketch that you made from the the markings on the walks? Does he recognise that as all? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bilbo takes out the piece of paper and goes, ah. There you go. And he looks at it and he just smiles and goes, yeah, I, sh I shot a warg. A var a warg. I, I was tracking the Myrtle and this two of them ran past me and it looked like there was, I think there were goblins riding them and I shot one, oh but the other one scooped the other goblin up just as I could uh, reload my bow, but I killed one, one of the wargs anyway. And the goblins headed south, so that's where I have to go at the moment. I have to go and talk to my father, who is another ranger. And before, oh, ranger. before he waits for you to reply, he just disappears into the shadows and he's gone. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's true what they say about rangers. They're really good at doing that. Like Batman or something. Barman? No, they're only good at pints. <laughs> Bilbo just lights his pipe and goes, this is this is not good. He goes, but one thing that is good 
We're just trolls. Just troll hordes. Mm. I did not know that was a thing. And I should. <laughs> <laughs> so give me uh, explore check, please. Oh, right. Give me if you want to look for one. <laughs> oh, oh, indeed we do. <laughs> I thought you would. This dice has it's... twice gone into a corner and cocked and nearly rolled onto a 19. I got an 18 plus 2, 20. Uh, I got a 6. Yeah, where's my dice? A pl- a plus 4 is oh. 4. I have it. What did you get, sorry? Failed miserably. 6. I got a dirty 20. I rolled in that one plus four is five. That's grand. So Liu Fang, you're all looking around and Liu Fang uh, comes across a crudely made door blocking the entrance to an old structure. The door is too heavy for just him. So give him, all he has given me strength checks to open. Strength of a bear. Oh, fuck's sake. Bilbo is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Can we use athletics or anything, or is it straight st- strength? Straight strength, because it's a big trolley door. Okay, yeah, uh, 16. <laughs> 14. Three. Yeah. Well, two, two years <laughs> did it, so Morin and Lou Fang start. Two big boys. The two big <laughs> lads, the two tanks. Start. Pivot. Pivot. The door and it starts to grind open slowly and slowly. <laughs> and the minute it opens, these are all hit straight away by the smell of rotten meat and troll. There's a cooking pot mm. and a table with various tools and knives of all sizes in one corner. And there's bones. Give us an investigation check. Investigation. This four. 14. 15. Not 20. 30. Yeah, so you see the bones, there are wolves and there's some other animals. There's goblin bones and what looks like might be a hobbit bone as well. (gasps) Various places around the room. And you find a little chest. And when you open it, you find a pouch with nine gold. <laughs> a finely cut ruby worth 10 gold. Oh! A hammer, two hatchets, and a sword. I've got a sword. Anyone want a sword? Uh, Sorry, the hammer what was the gold hatchet, before what? the ruby? What hammer, the two ruby? hatchets, a sword, a pouch with nine gold. And a finely cut ruby worth 10 gold. Okay, Sound. right. Morin, you have a hatchet, don't you, in your kit? Um, I have a, I have a bottle a axe. A small axe. And I have a hand axe. Okay, would you would you mind if me and Gil took a hatchet each then? Oh, Jesus, gentlemen. Yeah, indeed. Jeebus, gentlemen. Go ahead. <laughs> Jeebus, gentlemen. Because the other, the other guy doesn't work, but I'm sure there's Jeebus out there. I think he was a, uh, an honourable dwarf or something. I wouldn't mind that. Is there the, the hammer? Or is there any strange markings on it, or is it just a hammer? Uh, no, it's just a hammer. Oh, I'll so take the enough. ruby. <laughs> well, well just we ten. Shall we sell it? Who's, it? who's gonna hold the ruby? Ah, give it to Gil. He is the the troll slayer after all. I said, man. So, and he's gonna divvy out the uh, the nine gold. I well. Um, can I put this to you? What do you think about taking the nine gold between us and maybe giving the ruby as a thank you to the mariner's daughter for helping us find the club? So did we not just save his life? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Jill is the best. No, I, 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 I think <laughs> We get enough for this little dick. <laughs> I do think the elf has a point, and I'm not referring to its ears. I mean, the tall human. Um, I think that's no. a good suggestion. I don't mind Mort at all. Just turns and goes, We know he's an elf. We've seen enough of them. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just in case. But I don't Fine. mind. Give them. him the ruby then. 
Does Bilbo yeah, not get given, any? Or are we just yeah, giving more you know, between us to the Ruby? Yeah, as thank you. I think. Or yeah, are you I giving it to Myrtle? To, Myrtle? We'll give it to either. Both. Mortal. <laughs> Mortal. <laughs> Mortal. <laughs> so you hand out and Mort goes, are you sure? Like, this is worth a lot of gold. Like, you did uh, enough for us tonight and uh, uh, I'll always Gil be grateful. Looks at it and goes, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> maybe um, get get your, your daughter some kind of weapon so if she's ever Hell. out here again. <laughs> Although I wanted to be polite and say your daughter. I know I've written down her name, Myrtle. Um, maybe get her uh, some kind of weapon so if she's ever out here again, she, at least she can defend herself. Right, because of that good deed, take away any of the shadow points you have. Yay! You're very Have welcome, Moran. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give me another perception check, please. It was the French no. friends we made along, uh, along now the way. Now I'm grumpy. Uh-huh. Now Gil's just grumpy. Don't <laughs> you take the two points, then? <laughs> <laughs> I got, hang on, 10 plus, so we got two. What's four, well, 14. 10 plus, four, 14. Well. Who else well, is taking a perception check? I'll, I'll do one good, sir. Perception. 15. I got, I'm good at that. <laughs> Rolled an 11. What do you get, Gil? Or are you not doing it because you're sarky? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. All right, well. Do that two passed anyway, so you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so even he, care. He's are rummaging around the room. The two he has noticed. There's two skeletons in the corner and they seem to have very long beards making out mm. and as you get closer you can see that they're dwarves oh no and these are kind of looking around them and Morin something catches your eye which is shiny under one of the dwarves battered and ripped cloaks and I am um... yeah what I was going to say, I kind of like, just kind of say a dwarven kind of prayer as I, like, you know, because they're, they're past, they're, they're dead and look, take whatever it is if you get me. Just doing kinda... dwarven, doing your posh English voice. Go on then. <laughs> what do you mean the more posh English face? It's my That's bad what... Scottish face. Um... Yeah, but when they speak in dwarven, they speak in posh English voice. Oh yeah, we, we just did say this. Yeah. <laughs> well, one is going to say, my dear friends, I am sorry. <laughs> That you died in the hands of this troll, but I hope you fought well and at least hit his turd eye a bit. And um <laughs> and it was a memorable like fight. Me. There, so that was need speaking. I forgot about that. Voice. Speaking in the war. And the two jaws just open black. <laughs> 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 so you look under the cloak and you there's a golden brooch, and in the center of it is a sapphire that looks like it's shaped like an eye. And there's some runes etched around the brooch, but they're very faded. And you know you're going to have to investigate them a bit more. It's a golden brooch with an eye in the center. A emerald, a sapphire eye. So a big blue eye. So are you going to keep it? Um, what I'm going to do... Well, it. yes, but I'm going to <laughs> bury the bodies. Um, uh, my, my, I turn around and I, go, I kind of go... Um, would you mind doing me a favor? There's no way I'm going to leave my two brethren here to spend their the rest of their debts. I would like to bury them if that's okay. Me and Bilbo look at the two hobbit skeletons that you ignored before. We're like, we'll leave them. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Bilbo goes, that sounds like a great idea. We'll bury, we all, bury all the bodies. Creatures. <laughs> I also... Um, Found this, and I show the uh, the the golden brooch. <gasps> wow, that's beautiful. Mm. I think yeah. it's the war well, of the nature. I think we I'm should give sure. it to the male for no reason. <laughs> 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 there was listen. There was a very legitimate reason <laughs> that I knew was going to happen. <laughs> was it for no reason? And Meryl puts her hand out. She's like. Really? <laughs> no, we've done a good deed for today, Myrtle. Gil just slaps it away. No. <laughs> so Our child. friend Gil is, 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 I hope, jesting at a very sad time. 
Uh, so you're, you're very all the buddies of whatever. Well, the, the nice yeah. buddies, not the goblins and the, 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 the bad buddies. The bad, <laughs> leave the bad <laughs> buddies. <laughs> In fairness, it's only because of what we think of the the, the goblins that we wouldn't. Yeah, um, <laughs> you, you just leave little, you just etch little kind of stones above, saying little prayer or whatever. Here lies dead dwarf or something. <laughs> well, not that bad. Here lies two. One will put down that he'll uh, in dwarven that here lies two very, very, very brave dwarves that died very, in very. battle. Here, here. Very, very, very. <laughs> I can't believe so, I agreed to saying it was. We, we don't posh-ing. know that they were brave. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> I'm it it in. <laughs> so you leave the troll cave and you make your way back to Oak Barton. And um, once you get back to Oak Barton, Mort. Mort's wife, Mary Gold, is there and she starts crying when she sees Myrtle and she runs up and they start explaining what happened and they show the, the ruby and she goes, oh my God, and goes up and gives Gil a big hug. Eh, get off. So and she goes, come on, in in the house and I've, I've, I'll prepare some nice food and you can stay the night because I'd say you're exhausted at this stage. Bilba goes, yeah. Damn. That's 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 a great idea. And how about uh, some more the the dwarven stout, and we'll we have a little party. I wouldn't Wait. say no. So you just go in. You have a great time, food, drinks. You just all go up for a well deserved long sleep. So if you have any damage or anything, it's all cured. So you are all fine. Good. Was very lucky that They're all very lucky that fucking troll was blind. <laughs> the the ball refreshed because of me being fucking what's his name, Luke Fang. Are oh, excellent shots. That's why. Remember. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was a great distraction, Carnifex. Though. <laughs> a great distraction. Well done. Team, go team. So you the boys. Up, you and you go out, and Bilbo's already out at the cart, and he's talking to Mort, and Mort. Goes, oh, I can spare some food and you know for your, your trip back down to, to Hobbiton. So mm. Bilbo, you all walk outside and Bilbo goes, eh, I'm not really ready to, to head home at the moment after such a great adventure. Could we take a little detour? I'm liking the sound sure. of that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to visit a, a town called uh, Needlehole. It's just to the east of here. Yeah, east. Uh, I just always wanted one of their bogwood pipes, and I don't know when I'll be up this way next. And ever since I gave Gil my pipe for winning that contest, I I want another special one. So if we leave now, we'll get to the wooden moor in by midday, and then we'll be in Needle Hole by the afternoon. So is that excellent? Is that something you'd be into? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'm fed yeah. and I'm and I'm full of drink. Lead the way, um, Mr. Bilbo. Yep. Yeah, so you all jump on. Morin, as you say goodbye to Myrtle, Mort, and Marigold. Jesus. Oh, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot it. Hang on. And I get off the cow uh, cart and I go up and I go like, you hadn't have a, a few carrots on you by any chance. And Myrtle goes, hold on. And she runs in and she comes out with a, a big bunch of carrots. She goes, there you go. At least I could do. Oh, you say, no, 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 no. It's like, this is fuel or else we won't get where we're going. I sent and you I a picture up, of Myrtle as well, anyway. Yeah. I wander up to Kitty and I start giving her some carrots because she loves them. Yeah, so Kitty starts chomping away and she... <laughs> filling up the tank. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you just head off and he's, he's, it takes a couple hours, but as Bilbo said, by midday. The sun is high in the sky and you reach a little inn on the western road. You tie up the pony and cart and you go inside. And the inn is, it's really small little inn. It's just like a kind of traveller inn. It's grubby inside and the place is empty. Travel but lodge. The inn, yeah, travel <laughs> lodge. Yeah. It's not quite a premier inn. It's... <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know, but, you know, it's, the place is empty, but the innkeeper is cleaning the glass and there's someone sitting at the bar that looks like a bounder which are like the local police we know. Sitting, nursing a glass of of a mead so bilbo goes ah uh, seems we can just sit at the bar 
So he's going to walk up to the bar and he goes, ah, innkeeper, my name is Bilbo Baggins and I would like, uh, what would you like to drink, boys? I'll have a cold ale, please. Water? Um, you know what? Considering I'll have a cordale as well. Just to try it out. So Bill goes, uh, two Ooh. cordales, a water, and I'll have a dwarven stout, please. And the innkeeper goes, ah, no problem. He goes, uh, and Bill goes, what, what's your name, good sir? He goes, my name is uh, Toldo Weatherfork. Oh. And this is my so. little inn. And Bilbo kind of looks over at the bounder and goes, eh, what's his story? He goes, oh, oh, long ago, he's been seeing lights going into the into the Bilbo wood, or the Bill Bind Bold Woods last night. And he's been sitting there drinking ever since. I just think it's an all, a load of tosh. Longo kind of looks up and he just looks at you and starts drinking again. Bilbo turns and goes, oh, maybe one of you could go over and have a little chat. Maybe cheer her, this little fellow up. I don't get him I, I uh, <laughs> pick up the cordale and I'll, I go, I'll do, and I'll take a sip of it because I've never drank this and I didn't know much about it. But I quickly realize that there's nothing in it. <laughs> and, like alcoholic. <laughs> is, and I'm just like, <clears throat> and I point to the bartender, I point at one of the, the uh, whatever shots he has, and I say, one of them in here, please. <laughs> I'll uh, just give me a second, but I don't mind if unless you want to, uh, unless you want to go up and talk. This is a disagreeing with my tongue. Lemony shot of Jagermeister. <laughs> <laughs> Jag- Jagermister. Jagermister. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. I, I start <laughs> like you know once it goes in, I start you know like swirling it with my my big uh, finger, uh, dwarven finger, and I was like. Do you want me to go over and ask him stuff? Um, I think it'd be probably better coming from someone of a shorter stature than, than me going over. I don't know. You can be, once you get talking, you can do it pretty well. Longo kind of looks up and, and, oh, Longo <laughs> looks up and goes, I'll talk to Lollius. I don't <laughs> care. I seen okay. him, I did. <laughs> it was... I was walking from here to Oakburton to Needle Hole, or I don't know which way, but it was the dead of night. And i have seen some lights, two lights, side by side, or one in front of the other, or I don't know, but they were going really fast, and they went into the woods, and I think it was L. Taldo just starts laughing. <laughs> it was probably just hunters. Yeah, no, no hunters aren't that fast, especially us hobbits. Look, look at him. He can't run fast, and he can't either. Who's he pointing at? You point at me. Hobbits. <laughs> uh, nah, you wouldn't get elves around here, or or, no. or dwarves. No, but the lights and they were going fast, and they were in front of each other, but then they were beside each other, and then. I don't know, but I know what I saw, and he doesn't believe me, and no one's going to believe me, and what the hell, and I have to go back working in the ivy bush with me auntie Priscilla Roper, and I won't be believed. It it could have been someone on a horse with a torch, or two people. It could have been two people on horses. On horses. And Bilbo kind of looks and goes, Priscilla Roper in the ivy. This is Ro- Morin this is knows Roper. Priscilla Roper, doesn't he? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> do I? And Longo goes, sure you, know my, you, you know my auntie. Uh, I, it's now clicking with me. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I sorted out her, uh, uh, her plumbing. Plumbing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah filled her holes. Good deed. And he on her pots. Goes, he goes, Taldo, give these people some drinks we've actually just got some ah you can have more i've been here all night and i need some <clears> drink <throat> bilbo kind of looks up and goes uh so what does want to go on a hunt 
I wouldn't. Well, do we have to go right now, or could we have um, a few more of these core oh, Dale have... Jägermeisters? It's, it's not good on its own, but it's great when you mix it. Bilbo knocks it back and goes, hmm, yeah. these, these Jägermeisters are the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when mixed with Cordell. Oh. <laughs> Cord- Cordermeisters. Cordermeisters. Haldo he's... looks and goes, hmm, bombmeisters. <laughs> and he starts mixing them. Hmm, and drinks one and goes, hmm. And he writes on a big board, bombmeisters. <laughs> Two pennies. <laughs> Happy hour. <laughs> Well, well he's, I'm, he's, I'm yeah, 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 So yeah, so so as we as we're drinking, just turned around to Bill Lowe and just go. So, what were you thinking then? I don't know, but uh, our grey-eyed friend was talking about uh, something that he's seen on the moors. I was just thinking maybe it wasn't two people on a horse. Um, Two horses. Are you are you thinking may have been a four legged creature and something green with a torch? I maybe it was. I'm thinking that as well. I'm lost. He means the, the goblins and the wogs. The goblins and wogs. Oh. <laughs> Goblin wogs. Jägermeisters. But I don't think we should. <laughs> ah. I don't think we should. Say it to Longo just yet, because if okay. there hasn't been goblins around this part since the time of Bull Roar, I, I am whispering this, but I'm worried my mic doesn't ca- catch my whispering. So, but, but uh, I say, like that that ranger said that, like you know, two of them got away on the one warg. So, you know, two torches, yeah. two goblins on the one warg at night. If they if they need torches to see, would look kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Going really was fast, so. they were next to each other and then in front of each other. Uh, one nearly nice. fell and they had to pick him up. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That, that well, maybe we mm. should just take a look anyway, just to make sure. And if it okay. isn't, and it is just hunters, then we can come back and put this poor fellow's mind at rest. But if it is, we mm. have a duty to protect these fine people. I agree. I'm still yep. wondering what the hell I see in it. In the, I can't get out of my head. It'd be nice to help someone get out of theirs. Well, we've seen two wargs already. Well, you have seen two. I've seen one. And I've killed a troll. <laughs> <laughs> to go with the three <laughs> trolls I killed the last time I came across them. I, I didn't know we were taking score, but like, okay. <laughs> we <laughs> killed a troll. So... We drink these yeah. drinks and we'll head across into the woods. We're going to have a little investigation. Yeah, why not? So Bilbo goes, ah, we will have a look in the woods and we will come back post haste. Post haste. And he kind of throws tr- three coppers to Taldo to give him <clears throat> a bomb moisture to. Poor long I can't believe we invested bomb my <laughs> <laughs> So you just go walk literally across the road because that's where the, uh, the start of the wood is. So give me hunting rolls, please. Hunting rolls. I thought we were at the end. Hunting. 17 plus 2, 19. 11 is wisdom. Wisdom has nothing. Um. Well, Morin picks up some big dog tracks. <laughs> big dog poop, I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but realises that they're too big to be dogs. And after their last encounter in the woods with the warg, that he realises that they are warg tracks. So as you go deeper into the woods, you hear talking and a faint glimpse of a campfire. Give me stealth checks, please. Well, I'm going to be the stealthiest man. Me and Bilbo are sound. I roll a nat 20. 
So there's no <laughs> sound coming from me. <laughs> 22. Right, so it's, uh, do, 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 so yeah, Bilbo's grand. 19. Plus one. Should I have... Hang on. Hang on. We, we'll do a group one, so... 14. It's past, anyway. Nice. So, I just creep up closer to the campfire. You see two figures sitting by the fire, eating. And close by is a big warg, gnawing on a bone. And because he's got so high, he's realised that the two figures are goblins. And this is what they're talking about. When can we go? After we found that wog that was missing, all chopped up like that. I don't want to be here when what did it comes back. Grow a backbone, will you? We've lost two wogs now, and I'm not looking forward to telling the wog master he's angry at the best of times. How was we to know that the ranger was around these parts? I could have been killed if you didn't grab me when you did. We had to leave poor Growly there in the mirrors. I've grown quite attached to that wog. Well, we can't all be as fast as Fluffy there. And he throws a bone to the, the wag and he just growl, growls and starts gnawing again. Anyway, he sent the wog we found to scout around. So not only, uh, it's, it's not our fault he got himself killed. That's very true. I can't wait to get out of these lands and back up north. I don't know why the boss hasn't gone east after he was summoned. Maybe he has his eye on something around here. There are too many pointies and short arses around here for my liking. Don't forget, Rangers. First we see the troll, then the little halfling, then a bloody ranger starts shooting at us. It's like we're in someone's story. What's a story? I don't know. And the, the warg starts sniffing the air, so give me another stealth check. I think I might have disadvantage on the stealth text because of my ring mail. I'm trying to find do I have a dwarven uh, way out of this. <laughs> Duck. <'Cause... sighs> I got 19 like, does... plus one, so 20. Armor doesn't cause disadvantage on fatigue saves. But nothing else. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm getting disadvantage on this deck, so... Yeah. Uh, four, 14 or uh, okay, 14 plus 2, 16. I rolled a 19, so well, uh, mine's, mine's 12. So it should be 16. Disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah, that's grand, you all passed. And the <laughs> goblin goes, What is it, Fluffy? And the, the wag goes, goes back to eating. So, what do you want to do? I didn't like the comment. I didn't like the comment that he said that I was a short arse. <laughs> But I'm not happy about killing something that's called Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think we should take them on. I think we struggled enough against one enemy with two with no eyes. That's six <laughs> eyes we've got to fight. I, I, that's we, six those, eyes we've got to take out. But these are like actual sides. Well, they don't know you're there, so you just have advantage on your forced attack anyway. Do we want to attack, or do we want to That's watch you, like, just... them and see where they go? There's no way we can keep. We know they're going. Work. Was it, we know they're going. What they they're going back to? Would it, would it not be better to? Uh, we can't track them, can we? Can say because they're going back to the warg master. Well, well that's we... who. Well, I say most of them would have a warg master if they're dealing with wargs anyway. I... So. I think if we kill them, we lose any information we can get from them. Maybe we, we so. kill two and knock one out. We're fighting two goblins. That will just going to be like... Well, well we have advantage, think. so you could kill the tree them. <laughs> Without them even I'll knowing. tell you what, I'll... I'll distract the warg while you take out one of the goblins no, and knock the, out the other the one. How's that? Hitter. You're the big hitter. Can we send Gil um, silently with his super stealth to go and slit the warg's throat? Because he likes killing dogs. <laughs> I do like killing dogs. What do you think, Gil? If I miss... <laughs> What's your... Dead. Your sneak attack is another 3d6. So you could. I think it. Don't you have advantage if you're stealthed? 
Yeah, that's why I said. You'll have advantage for the first round anyway before they even acknowledge what's happening. And it will as advantage carry over to his attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the first right. attack, for the first round. But he ha- also has a, a sneak attack as well because he's... Yeah. One, at level one, can sneak attack level is 1d6. Yeah. Bilbo has another one as well, but he has 3d6 because he's a higher level. So yeah. Bilbo... Can- can Bilbo go with you and sneak and then me and Morin will be ready to attack the goblins as soon as the wall goes down that sounds like a plan or at the same time so at least they won't be expecting yeah. us yeah we can do it. Well, we're still do. stealthy aren't we so yeah we can jump out yeah. attack the goblins as they slit the wolves throat sounds like a plan so Bilbo and Gil are going around towards to kill the warg and the user two are going to jump yeah. out and attack the goblins uh, yeah with sword can we like knock one of them out to get information oh yeah we need to attack one to use. Um, I'm gonna, cool. who's got who's got the club i can hit them with the I, i'm a i know how to like incapacitate the someone with a, great axe, with a battle axe no i'm thinking i'm thinking bull rose club can somebody take Bull Rose Club to knock them out? No, you have walking them. sticks as well because they could be bludgeoning weapons. Yeah, but surely mm-hmm. Bull Rose Club's going to be better. It's a legendary weapon. Yeah, good yeah, plan. But it could kill them. <laughs> it's a legendary not, weapon. Is there any way? Not, is there any way of like I know in because this is meant to be D and D. There are ways to incapacitate someone. Like you know, like usually someone has sleep or something with like the magic you can knock someone out and not kill them with the last like you can say that you're not well, going to kill them tell you what give me an investigation roll who me then two whoever all right well no because me and me and bilbo or gil and bilbo are going well, to gil and bilbo are already sneaking around okay, okay i got 13 plus i think four i got 14 plus one so five so all go right, team so. us <laughs> No, sorry, plus one. So I got you 14. Look around, and there is a few branches lying around that could knock someone out. And there's also okay. above their heads, there's a couple of branches that you just could knock loose to fall down, maybe. I reckon we grab Can a branch be? each and try and knock them both out. Oh, and so if we knock them both out, we can off one and talk to the other one. I hear on good authority that it's it, it can work if you hit someone with a branch or use it as a shield. So yeah, I'm up for that. Cool. So just let me warn you, if you tie them up and kill them, then you're going to have to roll for shadow points. Oh, we're not going to kill them. We're going to take one alive. No, but he just said we can knock two of them out and kill one of them. Oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, what he is going to do, kill you, them out, yeah, but if you have one tied away and do leave him there to starve or let him go, I'd let him go and he can fend for himself or I'd throw him that's, the sword. That's not shadow point, surely, if you're letting him go. Come back, no, it's, not, not if you're him go. it's just if you're tying someone up and stabbing them to death. We went through no. this, Aaron, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> okay. we did. I, 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 I'm getting flashbacks. Uh, yeah, I understand okay. it myself. I just didn't hear someone else say it in character. I was, I was kind of deciding if it's possible to do. Because there is a rule in this for shadow points. If you kill something that isn't it's defenseless, defenseless, then it doesn't matter what it is. It'll still okay. No shadow points. Okay, well, Morin, because it's you, a misdeed, I think it's plus two or four shadow points or something like that. Morin's stronger, so Morin, I'd say you go for the knockout with a branch and I'll kill with so, the sword. Who's doing what force? So, uh, they're gonna kill the work force and then you are gonna, yeah, I mean, we're aiming it. for simultaneous, but you know, a deck, I know, I know, um, I, I know, um. Again, Lord of the, I was looking at it there. Lord of the Rings said it's like it's helpful that you should know D and D when doing this game, and that's why there's a lot not in the book that should be. But um, the Wizard of Google has helped me by saying that, uh, and it's well, again, it's up to you. But just in case you don't know, uh, when an attacker uh, reduces a creature to zero hit points with an, a melee attack, the attacker can knock the creature out 
the talker can make his choice in the instant the damage is dealt. The creature okay. falls unconscious and is stable. Yeah, so but I'm sure that's with a, a bludgeon and weapon, weapon, not a stabby stabby. It's it's a DM's choice, so if that's what you want us to do, then yeah. Yeah, well, it'd be no problem. kind of more realistic if you're hitting you with a You can't knock someone out a with, branch. with the stabby sword. Instead of running yeah. up with a battle axe and go, oh, you're knocked out. <laughs> well, I can hit them with the side of the axe as opposed to the sharp end. Yeah, you could, yeah. Right, so... We'll go, and Bilbo. But I just wanted to let you know because you might not know how to no, uh, kind of. no. So we'll start with Gil and Bilbo. So the warg is just at the edge of the, the tree line and the two years sneak up. So roll to hit it. We have advantage as well. Which is what? Button. So you roll twice and you... you Use the highest. So it would be 20, yeah. Top dog for a second. <laughs> huh? Run that power. So roll me 20, D20. Yep, yeah. twice. 12. I'm still here. 16. Yeah, so you use 16, I got 19, so yeah. that's that's a hit on it. So we just roll for damage. You roll for damage force, whatever. You're stabbing them, aren't you? Six. Six so I have the dice. Six plus your strength. No, I'm saying like the dice is a normal twenty or six. So I'm... Oh, hello. What type of dice am I rolling? For damage, it's a D six. D six. Yeah, is it after a short sword? D six. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. Plus your, your okay, strength, so your deck. One. Oh, plus dex is four. And then you have a 1d6 for your sneak attack. Three. Oh, I think with my one anyway, we killed Plus your advantage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's grand. With my one, he only has uh, 11 hit points, and I got that with just one hit anyways. <clears throat> Okay, cool. So Gil goes up and <laughs> being the warg slayer he is, he just <laughs> slits Fluffy's throat. Oh god. Shh. 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 <laughs> <Fluffy>. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Right, so the warg is dead. Love yeah, with the warg. Up to you two now. <laughs> I guess okay. we swing. Yeah. Sounds like a big Swing sound. away. It is bad. <laughs> really bad. Oh god. Is it? It's, it's not wow, much wow, of wow, wow, wow. It sounds like you have you have something on that has three settings. <laughs> Does that work? Shh. Right. Deck while we're buzzing, and we're probably gonna cut this out. It's four percent gonna last me till the end of the sesh. This How is long is there? There's only, I say, another five, ten minutes. Oh, it'll be fine. Okay. If it, if it disappears, oh. then you'll just have to finish without me. Or just right, go on. I'm on. Plug in. Right. And then go on. Right. So you slit the warg's throat, and Gail whispers into his ear, Yes, now sleep. <laughs> now it's up to you, Gail. <laughs> What are you going to do? We're going to hit the goblins. Um, we're, we're going to hop out, me with my sword. I think I'm going to have better luck with, with the killy than the nucky outie. Well, then do you want to kill him and I'll take him alive? I'll kill you, take alive, yeah. Cool. I never thought a dwarf would say that. Right, well, I'll, like, I'll, I'll swing first, or do you want to swing first? Right. Um, We'll go simultaneous. But... Simultaneously. Right. So you just jump out and the two goblins are still chatting away and you look up at the last second and what happened? You get advantage Sorry, with yeah. this <laughs> Get advantage, yeah. Not 20. <laughs> um, are these in armour by any chance? What? Are these in armour by any chance? They are. They're in oh. leather armour. Are you hitting them in the head? So I... Like Probably yeah, missing what I rolled. I got a 10 total. Uh, yeah, you missed. 
Okay. Like, yeah, I'm going we to got advantage. I rolled a eight and I rolled a five and a three. I'm not right. proficient in wood. You roll your Can advantage. I give him my magical right. success. No. <laughs> my elven skills allow me a magical success, doesn't it? Well, you can roll your damage for the first. first. Okay, D6. No, D8, isn't it? Sword. A long sword, is it? D6. Just a sword. A short sword is D6, D6 plus your strength. No, or sword. Just said sword. Push your strength and your... Yeah, but if it was a, it's a long sword, that's a specific thing, long sword, is it? Okay, well, I've got seven on a D8. Is that right? Nice. Plus your strength. Seven plus, plus two, two. So you got 11. Nine. I have no strength advantage, so... That's all. You got nine, so you didn't kill him either. <laughs> so <laughs> you jump out, Moran misses... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what, what am I getting the two for the advantage? No, you don't get advantage on damage. Uh, you only get advantage balls. on actually hitting them. Yeah, which okay. is a shame. But you got magical success. So I'm going to give you a chance. So you cleave through one of them, but he's like on his last legs anyway. And... Roll to knock out the other one. So you clear through your man, you swing around with the flat end of the sword. Okay. So, so same what am damage. On then? Do you same damage. damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, seven again. So you didn't kill him. <laughs> you didn't knock him either. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a knockabout, I think. So, but I've just done two nine damages. Yeah, so that's grand. So okay. the two of them are, one of them is in a heap. <laughs> and because it's a sneak attack, then it goes back to Morin. So Morin can finish them off anyway. Here, well, well here's Morin, the thing. why don't you finish one and then we can talk to the other? Did, did, did we get a short rest? You got a long rest. Long rest, perfect. Well, then I've forgotten it, but uh, I get I get annoyed at the fact that I, I got he of what he said about what I was presuming was dwarves. So I'm going to use a surge of vigor, and I'm going to attack twice with this log. Um, but I'm aiming to knock him, knock, knock him unconscious. Uh, well, we'll see what if the first one hits. So just a normal attack now. No, the first one misses, and I'm going to use a bonus attack to make another attack. Come on. Okay, that's slightly better. Uh, AC twelve. Miss. Oh, for the love of. <laughs> so Marin just starts swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a bloody short. Oh, I'll get you in a second. Now, man. go back to Liu Fang, and then we'll start. Okay. Here. Well, then I'll I'll just stab one. Hit him first. I don't care which one. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get an advantage? The, the I'm retiring the duck dice and slap me down. <laughs> okay. Well, then I've got nine on my D20. Plus advantage, isn't it? No. Why? No advantage. He's on the floor, dead nearly. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So you got nine. Dex, so isn't it? Down. Plus one, ten. Dexterity, isn't it? I'm rolling up. Strength, isn't it, for weapons? Uh, with, if it's a long sword, sword, yes. Sword, you have plus two, anyway. But it's still a miss. Okay. So it's, <laughs> so it's 11, then. <laughs> So okay. you don't miss no, no oh, for initiative. All of us. Which initiative? Initiative yeah. nine. Initiative uh, nine as well. High five. Initiative. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Who has the highest dex? Isn't it? Dex fifteen. And only 12. No, plus one, 13. Yeah, so Morin goes next. And what did you get, Gil? What's the initiative again? I forgot. Just roll. Right. Whatever your dex is, plus two, to, or whatever your plus is on your dex, you roll that two dice. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. 
<laughs> How did you get nine as well? That's three nines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your dex? Three, I think it is, isn't it, Lee? Yeah, so he's better than us, so he'll go first. So it goes Bilbo, Gil, Morin, Liu Fang, and then the Goblins. Like, you have to kill. Seriously, that's <laughs> what I think. Are we, are we aiming to kill now, guys? Yeah. Well, one of them yeah, at least. So Bilbo goes next, so he's just going to run over and just takes, he takes Sting out and Sting glows blue because goblins. Goblins. <laughs> Seven. He misses? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> next is... Gil. Gil. I do the same, but without Sting. It's a crappy normal. Stabbing him. 18. Nice. Yeah, that's a hit. Roll for damage. All you need is two. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Gil runs over, just smacks the last goblin. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> like a <laughs> like I practiced before. <laughs> take him alive! Don't so, forget to take it out of its cabbage. Then it goes to Morin oh, yeah. to knock the other one out. Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't miss. <laughs> oh, wait, we're, meeting, we're, we're meant to be hitting them. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> <sighs> I mumble that under my breath and I roll that. No, finally. Well, if they're... I'm, I'm, AC 16? Yeah, that's a hit. Grand. What's the damage on a piece of club wood? Uh, bludgeon damage. She said, I'm going to to find that piece of paper again. Uh, and you only need two. So. Oh, I yeah, we'll two. Just roll a d6. Uh, I'm, I again. am trying to knock him out. I roll a five plus two is seven. Yeah, so you smash him in the head and he just goes mm, and passes out. Thank God. Who's the shorty now? <laughs> so what he's going to do with the goblin? Tie him up. Who has a rope? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you tie him up. And then you've got to... Sorry, I'm about uh -huh. to plug in. It's me. Just mute yourself. Okay? Yeah, okay, I'll mute myself in between. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to search them or. I see. Yeah. Well, I didn't think they would yeah, have anything. No, we just need the information, don't we? All right, so we'll go get the information. How are you going to wake him up? Could we have a sleep we on need it? To... Can we say it to them before he, before he wakes up? Because you never know what they've got on them. He might tell us something, but he might have it. Give us an investigation roll. Yeah, good point. Good one, though, 18 plus 2, no, 20. Yeah, so two. you search them all. Sorry, 18 plus 1, 19. I'm lying. That's grand. You keep mute yourself. Yeah, so... You search them all, you find a crudely drawn map of North Farding, two spears, some disgusting smelling ale, and all three of them have the Nash and Teeth symbol somewhere on them. Mm. Okay, so how do we wake him up? Uh, we secure, make sure he's tied up. Yeah, he's tied up, he's incapacitated, he's kind of wakes up and he looks at you and he's like, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, mate? Uh, why am I tied up? Because we want information. About what? We were just passing through and yeah, passing through. That's what we were doing. Passing through what? Ask my, ask, my, ask my friend there. Uh, and he looks down and he sees his mate all stabbed to bits. <laughs> He's like, oh. Uh, that was me. That was me. That. I did that. That was me. Give me, Gail, give me an intimidation roll. Uh, 
<laughs> I was going to say yeah, I was thinking could we not say it was one of the big scary looking people well if he can do that and he's the tiny one just think what we can do 11 <laughs> yeah we'll go with that so he's like oh uh, uh, okay uh, uh, what do you want to know why are you here we were sent here to have a look around to see if there was any army or soldiers or big people. He's a big person. Well, you wouldn't find our army because we're very well hit. Oh, I'm not going to tell you that, actually. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, can you yeah. hear you? Yes. He, look, he looks at Morin and the history between goblins and dwarves. He goes... I'm not talking to the short ass. <laughs> I, gr- I go, I lose my temper and I grab him and I lift him up. What do you say? Give me an intimidation roll. That's what he says. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> and I go, rules. Um, actually, I rolled a 16 there. So what is my intimidation? You think, you think because I'm a dwarf, I'd have something in intimidation, but no, just a 16. Yeah, that's grand. He's like, uh, sorry. Uh, you will be if you give me any more of that cheek. Now you're going to sit down there and answer all our questions. And then we might let you go. But well, if you don't. If you we go, I can sit down. You're kind of lifting me up. I'm not finished talking. Sorry. <laughs> Again, as I was saying, <laughs> you can sit down and answer all our questions. Or we'll let Gil... Yeah. And you seen what he did to Buffy. And he looks at Gil and Morin feels some kind of wet substance lashing off his boots. (laughs) 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 Don't let him near me. He's crazy. What does this symbol mean? That's uh, well. And I ask, I turn and I kind of, I feel like I'm back in school when I'm threatening a bully. I look back and my, my, my evil face goes to a nice smile and is like, have you got the symbol? Lo, Lo Bil- Fang, have you got the symbol? Did, did, Bilbo. Did, uh, Bilbo's got it. Bilbo, give him the symbol. Bilbo takes it out and he stabs Stinger through and he looks, he goes, do you know what this is? And he's like, oh, yeah, I know what that sword is. Uh, yeah. Uh, the symbol is that's the mark of our boss. And who's your boss? Is. Well, if I tell you who the boss is, then he'll kill me anyway. But if you don't, then we'll kill you now, and it'll be more painful. I'll bite your nose off. <laughs> <laughs> My boss is a uh, Burgazil. That sounds Sorry. made up. Say that, Say that again. <laughs> B U R Z G U L. That did actually sound made up. <laughs> He's a, a boss, and he told us to come here with the map, and he sent the warg, and the warg's dead. And now my other warg's dead, and the other warg's dead, and my friend is dead, and I might be dead. <laughs> Where's your Where's your camp? Yeah, where's our camp? It moves from place to place. I don't know. Then how do you get back? Even if you had the warg, the warg knows because he could smell the the warg master. Really? Maybe. Maybe. Well sounds, made. Like, <laughs> sounds like the warg was more use than you. Then. Well, Fluffy is a good warg, and now uh, he's dead. Yeah, was a good warg. And now you've dead. killed all the wards, and the wards are the only ones that can bring that, you back to the camp. And now too. I'm going to be wandering around <laughs> these woods with these little people that stab me. <laughs> uh, excuse me, what was that last thing you said? Me? He's <laughs> got a point. I'm trying to hold my anger. Any more questions we're wasting, before this? We're wasting short... our time with this. Idiot. No offense. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let you go. But again, 
Really? Don't, I noticed you heard me talking about the army that's hidden. Don't be saying that to your boss. And I look at everyone to like, are we finished with him? I just I think off. so. Bil- Bilbo, did you, did you get everything you need from this conversation? Yeah. I thought it was quite <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> and I pick up my axe, I swing it, and I cut, I, I stop, and I, un, I unclasp the rope, because I'm not going to cut a rope for this guy and let him go. The goblin just kind of looks at his wrists, looks at you weirdly, like, I can't believe they're actually letting me go. This is crazy. <laughs> and he just <laughs> goes, can I take my spear? No, be lucky that you've got your arms. He goes, okay. And he just runs and disappears into the, the forest towards going north towards the, the inn and disappears. I, I turn around to the gents and I says, anyone reckon that he was lying and that he knows his way back? Oh, 100%. Do you think we should track um, him? I'd say it's north. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we lose the little guy, at least he'll go back to his camp and hopefully tell him that there's an army hidden here. Yeah, that should keep these people safer. Mm. Bilbo goes, uh, maybe we could give our bounder friend Longo something to show Mayor Proudful. Maybe he could get the bounders to be more vigilant along the northern border at least. I, could take... kind of, I don't think anyone will believe us that it was goblins. And Job maybe we could go back to Bag End and I could study the books to see what this, if this mark has any significance. And I could Sounds study good. the brooch. Okay. Ooh. And the brooch. I, if you want, I so can good. take back the carcass of the warg. No, I don't we think don't need the full carcass. We could the head cut. of the goblin would be better. Yeah, there you go. Cool. <laughs> So Robert Gil walks Goblin. over and just <laughs> chops the head off the goblin. <laughs> Ties it onto his waist and he's all head back up into the the inn. And Long goes there and he's like, oh, so what happened? Gil, show him the head. There's <laughs> ghosts. There's ghosts. There's kids. There's kids in sheets. It's a, it, it, it seems to be a thing with us. Uh, so, Gil, ex- well, they explain that we, to what we saw. Yeah, so Gil dumps the, the head of the goblin <laughs> onto the <laughs> table and Tolda goes, oh, what is that? He goes, I thought it was, I thought it was hunters and I'm sorry for not believing you. And Longo goes, I'll, I'll take that over to the mayor in Michael Devling and I'll tell them all I'm not a liar. Is, is that okay? No problem at all. We <laughs> solved your problem. You can take it. We're, um, so what I'm assuming from this is that you bounders are going to look into this, this situation with the goblin camp. We'll, I'll talk to the mayor and I'll get back to his. And if I don't get back to his, he's probably okay. sent me to the far end of the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, this should sway him, hopefully. So Bilbo yeah, goes, yeah, that's, that sounds like a plan. So we'll head back to Bag End and we'll... Try and find some answers. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So you mm-hmm. head back. You get back into the, the horse and cart and you head towards Hobbiton, but you take a shortcut around the woods so it's not going to take you three or four days. And you're, you make it back to Hobbiton and to your surprise, as you come up the lane, to, of Bagshot Row, you see a dwarf and a red hood peeking through the window of Bag End. Uh-oh. He turns around as you approach and casts his hood off. And he's re- revealing a keen smile and a long white beard. He goes, Bilbo, you old rascal. You told me to drop by for tea anytime I'm here. 
the dwarf pauses with a grin and collects himself before he looks at the rest of you and he goes, forgive my exuberance, Balan, son of Fulden, at your service. And he bows and he casts Bilbo a smile and goes, what kind of trouble are you getting yourself into this time, my little burglar? And we'll end it there. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Craig's gone. And you've missed the big reveal at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, medium size, obviously, because it's a door. 